All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Friday, and that means that we are using Deathbots. At this point, probably for the last time, I mean, the polls are still up. Uh, you can go ahead, link in the description, go to the polls and cast your votes. But it really looks at this point that the decks for this uh, next month are pretty much decided when it comes to Daily Duels, which is fine. It's fine. I totally don't mind that. So, uh, yeah, and Deathbots are on there. So, you know, each day you'll pretty much be getting double videos. You'll be getting the deck profile, the previous deck, and the duel of the new deck that'll be taking its place. This man, okay, I was about to say, did this man just summon fucking uh, Keeper of the Shrines in attack mode because he fucking can? Like, okay. But uh, I guess he went ahead and did his Sage Knight pitched, target pitched, and summoned Blue Eyes. So there's Blue Eyes, people. <laughs> okay, great. And the thing that sucks about Blue Eyes is I really can't handle it with four. Like, I would have to send six. Send six, six times five, three thousand, thirty-five, you know? Even if I send five, I'm only gonna crash. So, that's not good. I think I might maybe just throwing a dark hole at him. So, uh, yeah. Pretty much, I don't think there's any deck that, uh, is carrying over. Like, I don't think none of them are. Alright, and then you can just go ahead and summon Sage. And then get the blue eyes back to your hand. Alright, well. I plan on killing Sage because I don't want you to double tribute. That would be freaking terrible. That would be terrible if you double tributed and summoned blue eyes again. Like, I had to th throw the dark hall on the first time, unless, of course, you have that back piece of background to stop me. That would just be terrible. Yep, so. You have, a, you have a big old, nice, juicy booty of 21, which means I gotta at least send a 4 to get over you. So I can send 5. Yeah, I can send 5. And then pop your back row. Yep. So. I'll we'll go ahead and summon the two fives from my hand. Oh wow, is it really one from the hand and one from the graveyard? Or, oh, they have to be different names, they have to be different names, that's right. I was about to say, what, I can't summon two fives? I'm bad with this deck. Wow, you didn't deprison me? What's wrong with you? You should have hella deprisoned me. Hella deprisoned me. Not only would you got rid of my monster, but then you would have had your monster W tribute for your blue eyes again next turn, like... Really? Why, why didn't you do that? Whatever. I'm not gonna tell you how to play your deck. I mean, I'm terrible with despots. I, I've, I've literally been fucking up with this deck, like to the point where I'm, just, I've deleted recordings because I fucked up so bad. Like you guys don't even want, I don't even want to tell you because you guys are gonna be like, really, Daniel? I'll be like, yeah, it was, it was, it was that bad. It was that fucking bad, people. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and attack, and then hopefully I'll be able to just drop despot one to handle the situation because, of course, doing damage count because I get to see the monster, but. Uh, if anything, uh, whatever Despot monster I send, I can go ahead and revive back, and then I'll have two fives go into infinity, go into, you know, no, oh, it's just another one, so, fuck it, I guess I'll go ahead and send six this time, I actually tweak the deck, even though it's the last time that this deck will be on here, I actually tweak the deck a little bit, so summon five, summon, no, there's no reason to point, pop back rows, no reason to change battle positions, you know, we're, we're sitting okay, we're sitting pretty, we're just going ahead and going over into infinity, because why? Because we fucking can! That's what this deck does. Well, that's, that's not what this deck does, it's what this deck can do. <laughs> so there we go, Nova Infinity. Like, I guess I can tell you, but it's really embarrassing. One duel, one duel is just opening up garbage. I actually changed the deck around, uh, even though it's the last time on here. I decided to take out 7 8 because I don't like them. Alright, we just gonna go ahead and scoop it up. We'll go ahead and get another duel and be right back. <sighs> So yeah, I took out 7 and 8. I don't like him. Uh, and it's not like you even really need 7 and 8. Like, here, here in the TCG, I mean, look. We don't we don't have 7 and 8. We're fine. Like, Despots aren't, you know, the greatest thing in New Year right now. But we're fine. We're fine. Oh my god, if he goes for Mali one day, I don't know. I was like, if he goes for Mali, then oh my god. That would suck. So I can't do any damage to you, but I can't kill your monster, so I guess I'll fuck you up with Despot 8. You guys had some background? Please had some background. I got a Twin Twister. I'll, I'll fuck you up, man. I will fuck you up. Soul Absorption, I don't give two fucks about that. Not even. Not even. So, so I'm just like, I don't like them. I don't like them. They kind of just serve as, their, their effects aren't even that good. They kind of just serve as Pendulum Summon and, and Pendulum Scales, that's it. So I decided to go ahead and put the Machine Engine. I, I, I actually really do uh, like uh, Trans Modify, so if I can go ahead and turn a Gear Frame into a Despot 5 pop back row, that's actually pretty good. So, you know, not bad. So I'm noticing that, that's fine. So I can I can just summon uh, uh, Death Spot Four and handle this situation with ease. Like that's not that's nothing. That's nothing right there. Death Spot Four is too strong. 
And you, you already know, Machina Fortress is super fucking good. Like, Machina Fortress, you, you, you're running machines, you might want to consider just tossing in uh, uh, some of the Machina magic. Just because Machina's that good. Run and drop, dude. Oh, I'm getting banished! I forgot about that. Wow, that was bad. That was bad. I deserve that. I deserve that. I deserve that. I totally forgot that I'm getting banished. That was bad. That was bad. I, you know what? I'm a fuck up. I'm a fuck up when it comes to this deck. I am a super fuck up. I'm debating on what I want to do. Like, fucking Dark Law. I was like, oh yeah, since they're probably like, no, no, no. Fuck this fucking Dark Law. I could pitch in special. I could do that, but I think I might save that for next turn. Like, wow. That was bad. That was my bad. And uh, and I've been fucking up, like, all the time with that spot. Like, hindsight's fucking 2020. Terrible. I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you guys, you, you saw me fuck up last duel, I fucked up this duel. Like, I'm glad the death spots are gone, because I'm just fucking up with them. I'm like one of the worst death spot players ever. Ever? Ever. Like, oh, like, oh four can fuck him up. Oh, yeah, I had to send my, my shit to the graves. So not only did I banish one of my fucking fives, but I also lost the battle and lost my fucking uh, death spot four as well. I didn't take any damage because of one day, but yeah, that was dumb. That was dumb. I was like, <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> So, I was dueling against that, uh, it was like that, uh, Ritual Shadal deck with the Flip Monsters and the Pot of Taboos, I was dueling against that deck. I believe he was actually one of my viewers slash subscribers because he actually talked about me about trying to work on you, Bell and stuff like that. Anyway, I was dueling him, uh, the duel was kind of going back and forth, it wasn't a terrible duel, uh, but later in the duel I started just drawing into crap, like, I would, like, he had like no back row. As you saw, I said, I'm running the Twin Twister. I'm running like Royal Decree to stop the back row, right? He was running no back row. He even deco second me a couple of times, but no back row. So I was drawing into that. I had my Pendulum skill set up, but I wasn't drawing any Death Bots and I didn't have any machines from Machine of Fortress. It was just bad. It was just bad. And he really wasn't drawing anything either. Uh, but then I started drawing things. I actually pulled off the Infinity, which is great. And my dumbass, my dumbass here, I was like, wow. Uh, I, was, I had Infinity and I had Death Spot 4. I was like, attack into your monster, that's about four, send, you know, do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and revive out of the graveyard, right? It was one of his flip monsters, his one that sets the, the, the pot of taboo, so I was like, oh no, I don't want you to get that, I'll negate you with infinity. Fucking dumbass Daniel, infinity would kill the monster, which means that four didn't kill the monster, which means that I won't get four's effect, that I fucked, I fucked that up. So then, I was like, I didn't conduct my normal summon, right? Wow, so instead of actually taking your turn, you're just gonna be like, nah, I'm good. Like, I, I don't know why you didn't just play right now. Like, what was that? <laughs> like, what was that? I, c I can I can easily handle you like that. There's no question. I can handle you. So, and, oh, wow. I can't put yourself to the graveyard. So, uh, I kind of want kind of want uh, three because I'm going to normal summon it. So, I guess I'll pitch you two. Summon Fortress. And then handle Dark Law. Dark Law's fucking me up. But, uh, you know. Who doesn't Dark Law fuck up? Am, am I right, people? Am I right? We'll go ahead and summon Death Spot. Uh, <laughs> there we go ahead and. Oh, okay, he's just gonna scoop. I would say summon three, summon two, get my search, machine dupe two, get two more searches. Like, uh, at least I didn't fuck that up. Anyway, bear back. Uh, anyway, I was like, I had, a, I had Death Spot four. I had Death Spot one. I did not conduct my normal summon. I was like, hmm. Now how am I, 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 he has a lot of spells, oh my god, I wish I could make Naturia Beast, Naturia Beast would be great right now, but I can't, oh well, I'll end my turn, <laughs> and, he, and he proceeds to just wreck me, and I'm just like, wait a minute, 4 plus 1 equals 5, why was I thinking Beast was 6, and I was like, I'm such an idiot, such a fucking idiot, <laughs> uh, it's, I think that's like kind of funny that I just fucking up like that. Go ahead and summon Death Spot. Uh, three. I guess three will summon two. I already got my Pendulum skills. You know, five and six, so that's not bad. I'm gonna summon two and get another search as well. Two is not even once per turn. Wow, he's just gonna immediately surrender. Like, he just saw three. He's like, I, I quit. I quit. Like, okay, I guess. Be right back. So, yeah, that, that, that was my first fuck up. That was my first fuck up. The next fuck up, I, I, I'm deleting that video, like, it was so embarrassing that I had to just delete that video because I felt like shit. I was like, wow, I can't believe I fucked up. 
And I lost the duel because I didn't go into Beast Mode. I could have went into Beast and won. Like, fucking idiot Daniel. Fucking idiot Daniel. <laughs> wow, I'm giving all these Dorota the Krees. Fucking Shiny Angel. Like, what are you playing? Fucking Blue Eyes or something? Like, I guess. Trade of Six is probably one of my least favorite. Like, if I go ahead and summon one, I could try and modify into, uh... Transmodify into two, and two can get my search on. So, that's actually not bad. Yep, so like I said, I really like Transmodify. I think Transmodify is like one of my favorite uh, cards to play in Despot. I just think it's like really good. So, I guess I'll go ahead and get Despot 4. Dude, Despot 4 is power. I also don't like that Despot 1 don't doesn't go off during the damage step. So, if I summon those two Despots, then Despot 1 would be like, hey, I'm gonna summon, get summon 2. Like, no. So, I'm gonna take the little slow. I don't like Despot 6 either, but I gotta run Despot 6 to run Despot 4. I mean, 5 did set up the pendant scale, so I guess he'll tag along it, but he's probably my least favorite. I like Despot 1 more than I like Despot, <laughs> than I like Despot 6. Like, Despot 6 is my least favorite. Oh, okay. So, he's just gonna flip a couple of coins. That's fine. So, I didn't see the flips. I wasn't barely paying attention. Heads, tails, alright, so... Heads, each time your opponent... Heads, each time your opponent normal summons a monster, says you can special summon one color monster from your hand. That's annoying. To say the least, that, that's annoying. <laughs> Not that I can't handle whoever you summon, but... Because I have Fortress, I have four... So... But that's, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> wow, another six! Like I said, I... I do not like six at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and bait him out. I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon, then you'll be like, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and summon one of my Arcana monsters. Like, that's fine. Are you gonna summon freaking world or something like that? Yeah, I'd say one of the bigger ones. Alright, in the car summon you can toss a coin heads during your summon phase, start summon token, tail during your face, select one monster you control and give it to your opponent. What the fuck? Tails, you get an additional flip with your second coin toss, which I don't care about at all. Is that only during your turn? No, no. Tails, wow. So I guess during your end phase, you're going to give me something. I guess I might as well go ahead and special summon Fortress, because I can go ahead and special summon 6 from my graveyard anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Get it in. I already have 1. I can send 5, and I can kill you, and then I can kill you, and then take you during the end phase, so... So I guess I'll go ahead and send 5. Yes. I'm just a fuck up with death bots. I'm, I'm, I'm playing this deck like fucking death butts. Wow. Wow. Alright. So who would have thought that he's gonna fucking herald me? No one. I guess I'll kill this bitch. Like, who would have thunk? And I guess. That sucks. That sucks. That really does suck that he had fucking herald and the fucking fairy. Wait, why don't you give me something? During. Oh, during your end phase, you give me something. Wow, and then he top decks mind control. Like, all right, all right, that's fucking fair. That's fucking fair. Wow, so he's literally gonna use everything. I, I better not fucking lose to Arcana because this guy got gets everything. God, I can't stand luck in you, yo. It's so annoying. <laughs> oh my god, Yu Gi Oh is just way too luck based sometimes. So give me my fortress back. Then during your end phase, then I guess you'll give me your shining angel. That's fine. <laughs> Oh, cool. Another death spot four. Thank you. So, I'm literally gonna fuck you up. Thank you. I said death spot four is probably my favorite death spot just because he synergizes with everybody else so freaking well. Hell yeah. Go off. Go ahead and send me that death spot five. Like, makes me not even want to try attempting pendulum summon with death spot six. We'll summon death spot six. We'll summon death spot one. Death spot. I mean, Despot 6, Stop about 5. It makes me not even want to try to Pendulum Summit and just take out Despot 6 and just say, you know, fuck it, 5, no more Pendulum Summit, we'll just go with 5. Can't do any damage, so there's no point in attacking, and I guess I can go ahead and uh, go into Beast. I can go into anybody, so, sure, we'll go ahead and use your Shining Angel. No, because that wouldn't be his Shining Angel. I don't want, I don't I want to get rid of his Shining Angel, because I don't want him to kill it, and then it results in his graveyard. So I guess I'll go ahead and go into, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can Trish him. I could trish him. I could one. What does Despot this say? One tuner and one. Oh, he's generic. So yeah, I can go into my Despot Jet guy. He's not terrible either. 
Eh, fuck it. What's the point of trishing him? Nothing, really. You, you, and you. Hey, fuck it, we'll just go into my death spot guy. Eh, I guess I'll leave it like that. I don't want, I don't want to leave your Shining Angel. That would be bad. Yeah. It's debatable. Machinas are putting in work. Fortress and gear frame putting in work. Transmodify is fine. Because I don't think I would ever want to transmodify 5 and 6. Like, what am I running 6 for? I don't even like 6. Because he's a pendulum scale. Because he's a pendulum scale. That's the only reason why I'm running him. So I might as well just kind of kick him too. He's just as bad as 7 and 8. So if I'm going to boot 7 and 8, I mean, like I said, he's just the other scale. And I generally don't really pendulum someone with this deck anyway. I could probably put something else in. I could probably take out all my background. He actually runs in background in that spot. So I don't know. I don't know. Six just kind of. You just run six because you run five. Five is great. Six is booty. Four is good. Three is fine. Two is good. One is fine. Like especially with uh, me running with machinas, all I have to do is just go. All right, machina fortress pitch. Put one in the graveyard. I mean, I probably won't be ever getting one to effect doctor. That's just summon two or more machine type monsters at the same time. But I, I won't be pendulum summoning anymore. But when do I ever really pendulum summon in the first place, right? I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably discuss it more when I do the deck profile next week because this deck's not coming back. Oh well. What's another bad example? Oh, another duel was I summoned gear frame, searched for fortress, pitched summon fortress, and then I was so busy talking and not paying attention that I didn't even equip freaking gear frame to fortress. And I was like, watch this man draw a fucking Regeki. And of course, number generator, holy sake, yeah, they're getting I was like, okay, I need to take a break. I need to take a break from Yu Gi Oh! because this is actually getting bad. I was just being bad. And I'm not being fantastic in this duel either, so. Yeah. <coughs> I said, I would not be surprised if this man just literally just rips Regeki right now. Doesn't look like it. And his bar's not filling up. I think he went. I think he quit. And I think just Death Prowl's frozen. Like I said, I think I won at this point. It really doesn't matter. But if you rip Regeki, I mean, I'd probably, if I would draw into him this time, I got June to my double royal decree. That's, that's great. Yeah, that's great, yeah. The bar's not even filling up. I think he quit and Death Prowl's just being weird. Ah, whatever. Get another villain. Yep. Alright. So, uh, what else am I going to talk about? Oh, uh, Dion Dual Commentary, or Dual Commentary, uh, not bad, I decided to go ahead and play 6 with Maxi, let's try Maxi. I don't, I don't like multiple Maxis, but, you know, fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel right now, fuck it, let's do it. So I got my favorite Transmodify, so I guess I'll go ahead and summon, uh, Despot 3, special summon Despot 2, Despot 2, get your search on. Uh, I'm not sure how I want to search, I guess I'll go ahead and maybe search for, like, it really doesn't matter. I can search for Deathbot 1, and I can pitch and summon Deathbot 1. I can transmodify 4, I mean 3 into 4, because 4 is my favorite. Like you guys already know, 4 is my favorite Deathbot. So, like I said, the transmodify plays are just too strong. Why would I ever want to transmodify 2 into another 3? That'd be bad. You don't get your effect when you're normal summon, so there's no point in doing that. So we'll just go ahead and turn you into Deathbot 4. I guess I'll end my turn. I'm, I'm chill right now. Got Maxi. I really don't like Maxi. Like, people who side deck Maxi, I probably wouldn't. I'd rather run more Floodgates and more hate than just a generic card that's kind of like, hey, you get to draw, eh, yeah, you yeah. know? Oh, I guess I'll go ahead and pitch Fortress, because I can always just draw one to another. I can always search another gear frame, so. Yeah, I can pitch Fortress. I can always go normal summon search for another gear frame, so that's fine. And something with zombie master and plague and stuff like that like all right all right you know, activate your effect oh oh this should be fun Mally bills yep here comes plague and bills and shit i am i really can't handle bills like this deck cannot handle bills at fucking all there is no fucking way at least he's gonna let me draw some that's nice i'm just drawing your friends and shit bills yeah so this deck can't handle bills so, that should be fun to deal with. Double Beals? You let me drop the storm. He's taking the fucking... He's taking the maxi challenge. He doesn't give no fucks. No fucks given by this guy. He's gonna let me drop a storm. Look at it. But I guess it's like, hey, he can't handle Beals, so why do I care? Like, all I do is just destroy by battle and shit. By battle by card effects, so... <sighs> Maybe? I don't know. I'd have to figure... I'm gonna have to figure it out. Actually, you know what? Yes, I got it. I got it. I can run. I can go double machina uh, fortress and big eye. Mm. <laughs> Give me that bills. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> I forgot. It. I was like, oh yeah, I do run him. Double bills. Oh, wow, he's actually gonna go double bills. That's actually kind of annoying. That's actually kind of annoying that he's going double bills. 
Well, you know what? Since he's going to go double bills, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have to do this. <clears throat> I'm going to have to... Uh, wow, and I drew all my sixes. Or I'm not running six anymore, so the strongest I can get is 3,000. That's annoying. That's really annoying. The strongest I can get is 3,000. Wow. <sighs> Fuck it. Oh, wait, no. I go up by that much. Great. Okay. Whew, great. So, that's, that's the one that's wonderful. It's a fuck. Fuck, you killed it. So, I said the strongest I can get is... I'm gonna have to send another five again. 3,500? Am I dead? No, we crash. Damn. I was hoping I could save that fucking four. I was like, let me save the fucking four. Can't believe this guy took the fucking maxi challenge like a fucking champ. Like, wow. He actually took the maxi challenge like that. So, I can big eye bills. Why am I still running this? I should. I, I need to fix my shit. It's like, can I cast Dell one of them? Like, I can't even. I'm not even sure if I can do that. Ugh. Hot doesn't do anything. Scar doesn't do anything. Can't really push. Pull out Trish. Ugh. This is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be difficult. I, I could pendulum summon, but I already took out my own pendulum summons and shit. Yep. He's gonna get a fortress. This is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be difficult. Uh, so we're gonna sell. I, I maxi and did all of that, but I can still get wrecked by multiple bills. I can take a bills. Like, bills can take bills. That's great. But then, how do I deal with the other bills? I guess I just gotta take it slow and maybe try to. Yeah, I think I gotta do that. So, we'll go ahead and special summon, pitch you and you. Special summon. Then. We can go ahead and normal summon fortress. Fortress, get your search on. Search me another fortress. Ah, oh, God, it makes me wish I had an additional normal summon. And we'll go ahead and pitch you and you again. Summon another fortress. We'll go ahead and make a big eye. Big eye, detach, give me the bills. Then Bills, kill the Zombie Master, because I don't want that. Then Bills, you're going to have to kill the Big Eye, because if you don't, I'm going to take your other Bills. Then I'll just go ahead and summon Gear Friend and make a cast down. That's the best that I can pull off. That, that's literally the best that I can pull off. I don't want to pitch you. I don't really want to pitch you, or you. So I could summon another Gear Friend, but, you know, really, what's the point? So, I'll just have my Bills go ahead and kill your Zombie Master. I don't want to crash. I don't want to do that either. So. Just so many fucking useless cards against multi bills. Like, and just hope and pray that he's burned up all his resources and that he can't really pull nothing off. Why did this card get revealed? Like, why was it? I'm so confused. Like, why did that get revealed? Hmm. Okay. So as I'm telling, I'm hoping that you're powered out of resources. You're gonna have to kill the big guy. Like, that's a given. Kill my bad guy, that's fine, because I'm going to take your bills. You don't have any back or anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and normal summon, make a castell, and that'll, that'll be great. I don't have any more searches, I'm going to last searches, make a castell, put your bills back, then I guess I can go ahead and pitch fortress, because this day doesn't really serve a purpose, please, for the love of god, don't have a fag -railer. You go back. And then go ahead and uh, overextend by... Pitching you to summoning machine fortress and trying to wrap this duel up. Did I just beat double bill? It's like, yeah, and you know why I beat it? Because he took the maxi challenge. Took that maxi challenge and ended up losing. Like, good job. Good job. <laughs> he let me draw, like, what, four or five cards? Like, oh my god. Yeah, I can do a dummy master pitch special. Draw. Then he went, Mally, special. Draw. Then he went, summon bills. Draw the three. Then he went Mally again, four. Beals, I mean, Plague, five. Beals again, six. He let me draw six fucking cards and then even wrap the duel. Like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Let's get one more duel in. Just for, uh, all of the Despot's sake. Bear back. Alright. Alright, this should be the last duel for both Despot's and for this video. I mean, like I said, I may put Despot's back on the forms. It really depends, because the way the... F I mean, the forms, the poll. Why did I say forms? The poll, because the way the, the polls work. Oh man, he let me go first, and I opened up booty. Like, this this hand is the butt. 
This hand is not good. Ugh. Why? Why? Why would you let me go first? Why would you let me go first? Yep. I know. I know why. Shut your bitch ass up. All right. I'm speaking rhetorically. But that word's probably too big for you. All right. So who you calling stupid? Stupid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. And of course he's playing fucking this deck. Of course he's playing the fucking Light Swords, Trick Clown, Four Mage, fucking Minerva, I can't afford that shit in my entire life fucking deck. Oh, fucking course. Going to Michael, because why not? They wouldn't have done more damage, you just would have attacked with Illumina and uh, Raiden. But you don't think about that. You're just like, I want to go into Michael. Like, of course. Ah, I'm still not drawing into anything. I said, I'm not drawing into shit. I can normal summon two and then machine dupe two, but I already drew a two. Like, this means it's bad. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and surrender and then get another duel. I hopefully open up better. Bear back. Alright. This should be the last duel. That was just bad. That, that hand was just probably the worst hand that I drew with Despots. Yay, I got Despot 4, my favorite Despot. We're going against a Synchro deck? Looks like it. Tuning. Yep, quick draw. Send an MST. Alright, not much background. I'm assuming that there's not going to be much background to you either, so. Once again, another freaking Royal Decree where it's going to be fucking, it's no use. Oh, is he actually going to set some background? Hello? <laughs> it's no use. Take this. <laughs> it's no use. <laughs> oh my god, fucking silver. Sanic. Anyway, I was gonna say, uh, DM dual commentary slash commentary, dual commentary, uh, there was not as many dislikes. There was only four this time when usually we would get like 13 plus. So, uh, I mean, like I said, I can go ahead and just do dual commentary on Depro if you guys like that more. I, mean, I really don't care. Uh, and, of course, it was suggested that I just watch Rated Duels because, you know, the chances of them quitting are slimmer because they actually lose something when it comes to quitting. Uh, same thing when it comes to Rated Duels on uh, DMs. Like, hey, you know, they quit, they're going to lose on on rating, so they're probably not going to quit, which means that I'm probably going to get more entertaining duels than just, you know, I'm playing for fun. Oh, I didn't open up well, let me quit like what I just did, you know. Uh, so, but it seems like it would get boring because, of course, Rated is only TCG, so we're probably only going to see, like, the same, what, four or five decks, which is probably going to get bland. So maybe I can go ahead and, uh, all right, see, see, just like that, he opened, he didn't open that well, he's just gonna quit. So instead of just, you know, having something to lose, playing out the duel, and possibly seeing that maybe you'll get lucky and win, you're just gonna quit because you have nothing to lose. <sighs> One more duel, bear back. All right. So maybe I'm thinking about it since there's two DM duel commentaries in a week. Maybe having one duel being rated, one duel being unrated. So having one duel being for fun, one duel not. Cause they're both great rated. You know, you're probably gonna get tired of seeing the same five decks. I mean, that's just probably how it's gonna go down when it comes to uh, uh, that, definitely. Uh, so I can go ahead and uh, normal summon three, three summon two, machine dupe two, get my search on like. We open up fine unless this is back row something that's completely stopped me. Which it might be. It might be. Yeah, that's what I thought. And these emptiness, of course. Of course. So, best I can go up to is a thousand attack. So, lucky it, I might as well attack, right? Maybe he'll go ahead and put something in the graveyard eventually. I mean, he's gonna have to eventually. No. I mean, I guess I could have went up to a thousand, but I'd rather not kill you. Even if that's a potential. Nope. So, he might he might have this duel just because of vanities, but hey, you know, if I had a nickel for every freaking duel that I've lost because of vanity's emptiness, I'd, I'd be a rich motherfucker, so. So, it depends on what he does. I'll say, you know, he's just gonna take it slow. We're just gonna, we're gonna take this duel at a snail's pace. That's fine, because I got Despot 4, so. Yay, Despot 4. My, one of my favorite Despots, of course. So, Despot 4. Go ahead and kill him. You know, you'll resolve, but then I'll go off too. So you can go ahead and snatch up my despot four. I don't care. So I guess I'll go ahead and send. Uh, I can only summon. It has to be with different names. So uh, I don't need to be too strong. 
I guess I can send, uh... Card gains for the level. Hmm. Send Despot 2, I'll go to 15, then 2... No. Yeah, 2 can go ahead and special summon. And they get my search on. So. Yeah, go to 15. That's gone. But Vanities is still on the field, so I can't even resolve my Despot 4. Because, of course, Vanities is going to start a separate chain, so... Yep. And, I guess I'll go ahead and kill my Despot 4. Yeah, I use my effect on myself. That sucks. That sucks. Oh well. What you gonna do, right? What you gonna do? I gotta believe. I gotta believe! No. <laughs> I mean, obviously I know he's playing fucking Gradles. So I can go ahead and summon Fortress. That wouldn't be terrible. And then transmodify this into a 4. Yeah, fuck it. We'll transmodify this into a 4. So when he goes ahead and crashes his, uh, best, his Gradle into me, then I'll fuck him up anyway. I'll take the little slow. I'll leave it like that for now. Because 4 will, of course, still go off, even though he'll go, Great old take, but I'm, not, I'm assuming that's not just Gradles, it's probably Gradle Kaidu, which I can't stand that deck. It's really annoying. It's not good, it's just annoying. And the one deck, and uh, this deck's running some back row, the veins, stuff like that. Where's my Twin Twisters? Wherever my Roto Creek, you know what it'll be fine. Yep, that's what I thought. Fucking Kaiju. Saw that coming. Saw that fucking coming. If anybody saw that coming, go ahead and fucking give me a nickel, because everybody saw that fucking coming. This deck's not good, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. <sighs> do I have any more uh, twos? I got one more two. So, Shin Dupin won't really do much. Deck's not good, just annoying. Go ahead and play some background. Deck's not good, just annoying. Rails are annoying, Kaijos are annoying. So, they're both annoying. Yeah, I guess I'll go to the fucking battle phase. Since he fucking great horned me. That's annoying too. I can go and summon you, but all I got is one, two, and shit like that, so that's not nothing. I gotta pitch everything. Some of my fortress back. Fucking great horn. Great horn's a good card. It's a good card. Like I said this deck's good? No. Annoying? Yes. What, you're gonna go ahead and tribute me again for another fucking kaiju? Like, Gradles are annoying, kaijus are annoying. So you put them together and the deck's annoying. Because the deck was good, you would see it top, but it doesn't. Because Gradles aren't good right now. Because targeting is bad in Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Like, oh yeah, play Gradles against fucking Magic Specters and Cosmos. That's dumb. <laughs> That's real dumb. I get to pick something out of your hand. But no, I get taken and I'm gonna get wrecked by both of them. Like, alright, that's that's game. That's game, because there's really nothing I could top deck into. That's annoying. It's like, hey. It's like, well, hey, what do you hate most in Yu-Gi-Oh? Do you like your monsters being snap still? No, that's annoying. Hey, do you like when your opponent lava golems your monsters? No, that's annoying. So let's go ahead and take both the decks and put them together. <laughs> it's like a fucking a DP double penetration of fucking annoyingness. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. I, I clearly have nothing. I clearly have nothing. All right, people. I said death butts. Just me playing bad and just getting terrible duels, but. You know what? That's it. So, of course, next Friday you'll get the deck profile, I'll go ahead and get my opinions of various death spot cards, and then you'll also get whatever deck is on Friday for Daily Duels for the next upcoming month on Daily Duels. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow where we'll be changing up Daily Duels. Alright, people, thanks for watching.